It's time to honor our future robot overlords. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Using FaceTime video chat on the iPhone has always been a Wi-Fi only option, but that will change in the fall with the release of iOS 6. And AT&T just announced it would let iPhone customers with a shared data plan to use FaceTime over its cellular network. But some are arguing this could be a rule violation of the Federal Communications Commission. One outspoken nonprofit group says this discriminates against customers with other data plans. A video chat service like FaceTime could be a larger data burden, but there's no technical reason you can't video chat just because you have a different data plan. Now, AT&T responded saying it does not believe it's breaking any FCC rules. Since it's already available to all customers over Wi-Fi, it's just expanding availability even further for those with a mobile shared data plan. So as you know, we just landed that rover on Mars and they're still testing out all the systems. Well, NASA is already talking about sending another robot to Mars in 2016. Next time, it'll be a lander that'll study whether Mars has a solid or liquid core and if the red planet has tectonic plates that slowly move, just like on Earth. Anyone who bought a new Windows PC after June 2nd can register online for a $15 upgrade to Windows 8 when it comes out on October 26th. Now, you might be thinking, wasn't it free for past upgrades for recent PC buyers? Yeah, and this is the pro version this time, and it's also a little more than getting the basic version. But if you didn't just buy a computer, it'll cost $40 for you to upgrade. And some news for AT&T customers. In order to put a focus on new data sharing plans, AT&T will no longer subsidize the cost of a tablet with a contract. Verizon also stopped doing that in June. There's a very important election coming up that needs your vote. I'm talking about the Robot Hall of Fame, of course. For the first time, Carnegie Mellon University is allowing humans to elect who should be inducted to its Robot Hall of Fame. The award has been given to real and fictional robots like the Roomba and C-3PO. But this year, will it be Wally, Rosie, or Johnny Five that gets the entertainment spot? It's up to you. And maybe in the future Hall of Fame, it'll include the Mimo by Honda, a robot that mows your lawn. Well, more like it nips at your lawn. It needs to cut several times a week since it's not as powerful or doesn't cut as much as a typical lawnmower. It'll first be available in Europe next year, starting at 2,500 euros. That's your tech news update. For more, head on over to the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.